Hey everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make a crew neck with a removable collar for a stuffed animal. This layered look is really popular these days, so I wanted to create a simpler version for a stuffed animal. Now let's get started! To make this, you will need a sewing machine, scissors, pins, your fabric, I'm using an old t-shirt and mine is gray, and your patterns. There will be a printable version linked in the description box, and this will fit a Build-A-Bear or any similarly sized stuffed animal, and you'll also need a few pieces of thin Velcro. Now the first thing I'm going to do is grab my t-shirt and cut off the collar. If you're not using a t-shirt for this and are just using normal fabric, just cut out a long rectangle and then fold it in half and that's what you'll use as your collar. So after I've cut off the entire collar off the shirt, I'm just going to move on to cutting out my pieces. And I'd usually be using scissors, but I recently got this cutting mat from my sister for fabric, so I'm just going to use that instead, but scissors works just as well. Now I'm folding over my fabric once because the two patterns I have, I'm going to need two of each. So I'm going to pin my pattern onto both layers of fabric, so that way when I cut it out, I already have two pieces really easily. So I'm going to pin both patterns on at the same time, and then I'm just going to cut them out. And this cutting set was great for straight lines, but the curved ones were a little harder, so I just went in there with scissors. And after I have all the pieces cut out for the crew neck, we can move on to the sewing. If you're not sure what a crew neck is, which I didn't know at first either, my sister explained that it's basically a sweatshirt without a hood. After all the pieces are cut out, I'm first going to sew the collar onto the necklines of each shirt piece. And I'm just kind of lining them up right now just to see how big of a piece I need and I'm just going to trim off the extra. And after I have the right size pieces, I'm actually not going to sew them on just yet. I'm first going to add the Velcro. And this is how we're going to be able to attach another collar that will be removable. So I'm just going to cut a small piece of Velcro like this, and if you don't want to do an extra collar or anything, you can just skip this step and not use any Velcro. But I'm first going to take the collar that's going to be on the back piece, and I want the Velcro to be right in the middle of this. So I'm going to line up the fuzzy side of the Velcro, and that's just so it won't catch in any of your stuffed animal's fur. And I'm going to open up the collar before I pin it on, and that's so you won't see the stitching in the back because the collar will be folded over. And since this Velcro is so thin, I'm just going to do a zigzag stitch once across the entire thing. And now moving on to the collar on the front of the crew neck, I want mine pretty close together in the front, and mine were actually pretty far apart. I'd recommend having them much closer together or even just using one extra long piece of Velcro in the front and just have one right in the middle but I spaced mine out a tiny bit like this and then pinned them in place. And I'm also gonna do a zigzag stitch to secure these on as well. And after that, I know I kind of switched them around, but I'm going to lay the collars good side to good side with the neckline of the crew neck. And that means having the Velcro side up. So I'm just gonna start in the middle and pin that little extra piece together and then follow it around the curve and pin those together as well. After it's all pinned together, I'm going to do the same thing for the other side. And once everything's pinned, I'm just going to do a straight stitch right around this neckline. After that's done, they're going to look a little weird because the Velcro doesn't bend, but I'm going to lay them good side to good side now and line up the tops. And then I'm just going to pin it vertically so I can just do a stitch right over the top of the pins too. So I'm going to do that to both sides and then do just a straight stitch straight across both tops to connect them. After that, I'm just going to trim off the extra collar and then we can just set this aside and move on to our sleeves. So now I'm just going to grab my sleeve pieces and with the bad side facing up, I'm just going to fold over the bottom edge. And with this fabric, you can't really tell, but you'll just want to make sure the side that will be facing out has a nice clean edge. After pinning these folds in place, I'm just going to do a straight stitch right along the bottom. And after that, we can move on to attaching our sleeves to our crew neck. So I'm just laying this main piece with good side facing up, and now I'm going to lay it good side to good side with the sleeves, and I'm just making sure I'm starting right in the center and lining it up with where the tops of the two pieces connect, and then I'm going to continue matching up the curves, and then repeat that to the other sleeve. And once they're all pinned together, I'm going to do a straight stitch right around these curves to connect them. After that, I'm going to fold the entire thing in half, still with the bad side facing out. And now I'm going to line up one of the sides and pin them together. And I'd usually do both of them, but I still want to leave one side open because we're going to be adding one more thing at the bottom. So I'm just going to do a straight stitch in this kind of L shape and not on the other side. 
After that's done, I'm just gonna trim off the extra fabric on the bottom of the sleeve. And next I'm gonna attach the band to the bottom of the crew neck. So I didn't bother even cutting out a pattern for this one, but I will have the measurements below. It's just a very long rectangle and I'm going to first fold it in half and then attach it to the bottom of our crew neck. And so I'm gonna fold it in half with the good side facing out. And with one side of the crew neck sewn together, it's a little weird showing this, but I'm gonna lay it good side to good side with the bottom of the crew neck. And I'm actually gonna lightly stretch it as I sew it on, so I'm not going to pin the rest down. So as I do a straight stitch along the bottom, I'm gonna pull on the material lightly. Once that is added, we can now close up the other side. So I'm gonna make sure to have this bottom band folded down, and now I'm gonna line up the bottoms of the sleeves and the sides of the crew neck, and then pin them together and do a straight stitch to close it up. After that, we can finally just trim off the excess, turn it inside out, and move on to making the collar additions. And this is meant to make it look like they're wearing like a button-up shirt underneath their sweater, which is a very trendy look. So next, I'm gonna grab my patterns for the collars, and I've actually made some adjustments to the printable patterns you'll see in the description box. And these are just improvements from the ones I used so you can make the best looking collar possible. This first one I'm cutting out is more of a traditional angled collar you'd see on a button up shirt. And this next one is going to be a round collar. And I've seen both styles and really like them both. So you can choose which ones you wanna make and even maybe come up with your own. I've now changed my background so you can see the white fabric better and you can use whatever color or pattern fabric you want. And I'm just gonna grab that other side to the Velcro and it's easiest just to start with the middle one. So I'm placing this right in the middle and a few millimeters away from the bottom of the collar. And I'm just gonna pin this in place and do a zigzag stitch. And this is also on the good side of the fabric. After that, before I add on the other pieces of Velcro, I'm just gonna try to match this up with the crew neck first. So I'm gonna fold the collar in half and match up the middle pieces in the back. And then I'm gonna kinda wrap it around the side and see where it lines up with the other Velcro. So I'm gonna pin the Velcro on right where it will match up with the other side. And I'm gonna make sure to only pin through one layer of the collar and then I'm gonna repeat that on the other side. And after I have the second piece pinned right where I want it, I'm just going to take the whole thing off and then sew it on with a zigzag stitch. After all the Velcro is sewed on, I'm going to fold this in half with the Velcro on the inside. And now I'm just going to pin this together and I'm gonna sew around the edge of the entire thing leaving an opening right in the center because we need to turn this inside out. So starting on each side, I'm just gonna go in with a straight stitch towards the middle, but leave about a one or two inch space. After that's done, we can turn the entire thing inside out. If you left a large enough opening, this shouldn't be too difficult, but you might need something pointy like the end of a paintbrush or a pencil to poke out those corners and points. Now the last thing to do is just close up that opening. I'm just gonna make sure to fold in both sides so it's a clean edge and just do a straight stitch to close it. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the other collar and I just have it sped up because I did all of this before. And you'll just wanna make sure with whatever collar you do, you can just visualize where it's going to attach to the crew neck. So with this one, the Velcro actually had to be in the very center of it. So just make sure to think about that if you wanna make your own collar. After both collars are complete, we can finally try everything on. So I'm gonna grab my stuffed animal I'm putting it on a Build-A-Bear, and I find it's easiest to put the crew neck on first, and then it's much easier to attach the collar and kind of adjust it how you want once it's already on the stuffed animal. So I'm going to start by lining up the Velcro in the back first, and then kind of wrapping it around, tucking it in that other collar, and then lining up the Velcro in the front. And then at the end, you can fold down this collar over the crew neck's collar. And this is why I recommended putting the Velcro closer together, because it was a little separated in the front, so I kind of just had to tuck the two front pieces together. But I think it would have just been much better to have the Velcro pieces closer together in the front. And here's how it looks with the other collar on. You can always take the collar off if you want to, and you might have seen in the intro, I actually layered it on top of a plaid shirt I already showed you how to make. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more, and I hope you have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I'll see you next time. Bye!